Alright guys, so I guess now what we need to do is unhollow. That's first. And there are two summon signs in the area. There's one, I believe this is Luca Teal's punk ass. Yes. And then if we go back to the starting area, I don't know if he actually can help us in the battle, but um, there's a summon sign right here for Bradley of the Old Guard. I'm going to summon him and hope he doesn't die. And I'm gonna also summon Luke Teal. Alright. So now we're gonna go fight the Flexile Sentry boss. And we'll pray to God that Luke Teal doesn't die. Alright, so Bradley and her made it. I literally have one Estes flask. Alright, so now we gotta keep Luca Till alive for three battles. I think there's more than one more than enough battles now to summon Lucatil, but but you definitely need to make sure she stays alive. If she doesn't stay alive, um, then you're screwed on that part. One of the interesting things is that the Flexile Century Soul is used for one of the best weapons in the game for PvP, which is the Warp Sword. Come on, Bradley, do something, man. Damn, long sword at risk. Holy shit. Uh, what the fuck did I just get hit with? All right, so Luca Till survived. Thank the gods. And we got the Flexile Sentry Soul. So thank gods that that happened. So now what you need to do is make sure you come up this ladder. Grab these items from this chest. Pyromancy flame and the fireball. Yippee, yippee. So that was literally no man's wharf. Oh man. That 
that was a lot harder than I recall. A lot harder than I recall. Um, the Flex Hall Century Boss battle realistically wasn't that difficult by comparison, but uh, yeah, it really wasn't that difficult to be honest with you. The Flex Hall Century battle with what with having Luca Teal and uh, the other NPC Phantom, I can't remember what his name is at the moment. Can't say it was that difficult, but uh, yeah. What the fuck? Well, this used to be just an easy thing right here. Like, all right, well, is he facing? A, I can't tell if this dude's facing away or what. Hope we get this backstab on him. I gotta get rid of this damn uh, merchant's hat. Put on, put on a better set of gear. Soul of a proud knight. All right. So we've let me out of here. Yeah. What the fuck, man. One of these cages, as far as I know, I can't remember which one, should have uh, a bonfire inside of it. Common fruit. Fruit to the pipe. There we go. All right. So now we have two bonfires in the boss of steel. Take a look at those. So we have two now. You can see the one in the exile holding cells and the tower apart. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to head back to Majula. Farfire. Thank God. And I'm thank you guys for sticking around. I know those videos are kind of long and I apologize about it. Uh, until next time, guys. Have fun. By the way, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, if there's games that you guys are playing that I'm not playing at the moment, currently I'm playing Hearthstone, Mad Magic Duels, Batman Arkham Knight, The Witcher, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, um, and I'm about to start Dragon Age Inquisition with another playthrough on Nightmare. Uh, if there's games you want to see, please let me know. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment inside the video. Uh, I appreciate you guys' support. So until next time, thank you so much, guys. Have fun.